We're out here on Manitowoning Bay at Bayside Resort, filming as part of the Fishing Manitoulin and Destination Filming Partnership. To my right, I have the legend, Bob Izumi. And to my left, with the, re with the Real Fishing Show, and to my left, I have Neil DeBosque with Field of Fire TV. How's it going, gentlemen? Well, you know, uh, Neil, you, you beat us out here this morning, and you've seen a lot of fish, right? That's right. And uh, no takers? No takers. They're all those, uh, we call them tourism fish. Right, they're just coming in for a pretty view and see what's what. I think we're saving them for the derby, actually. On Lake Manitou, we're seeing a, we've seen a 15-pound uh, walleye come out and several, several nice uh, lake trout. We're going to be hitting up uh, Lake Manitou this afternoon. Going to try to get some of that bite. Folks, we're looking forward to a great weekend here on Manitowani Bay and Lake Manitou for the Manitou Nice Showdown. You're going to be out and seeing some, you know, some great acts, some great fishing. Bob and Neil will be out catching the, catching the event, so we'll see you down here on Manitou. An island. Life offers no guarantees, but the one thing we've learned for sure is that the time we have is indeed precious. The more time we spend with family, friends, and with nature can make the difference between living a good life and living a great one. Join us on our quest to be participants rather than observers, to learn from our mistakes, to share our successes and our failures as we spend all of the time we have chasing our dreams, fueling our passion, and fueling the fire in the great outdoors. Closed captioning is brought to you by Let's Roll Out ALS.ca. Hey, I'm here with Luke, and of course, he's the organizer of the Manitoulin Ice Showdown. And Luke, there's some pretty incredible prizes. I hear there's like $50,000 in prizes for this tournament. Over $50,000 in prizes, two lakes, top 10 on, on both lakes. So yeah, it's, it's really exciting, a lot of prizes. Yeah, so you got a breakdown of uh, cash prizes. There's what, a $10,000 snowmobile? There's a, there's a registration draw for a snowmobile. There's top 10 on two lakes. Uh, the target weight contest, $2,500 each day right. for the target weight. And then the signature contest of the event, the Pimp Hut Big Trout Contest for the total weight over the course of the weekend with for a prize worth over $7,000. And it's a, it's a pretty decked out ice fishing hut. Everything you need to ice fish and more. Wow, and that is uh, for the weight of two fish over the weekend. Two trout over the course of the weekend. Oh, and so what about if somebody catches one giant trout that weighs more than two medium well, trout? Well, you know what? The way things have been going this winter, it's not going to be uncommon, I don't think, to see a 20 pound fish, and that definitely can win. What is amazing of the fisheries here, you know, both on the Big Water and Lake Manitou, is the fact that somebody could catch a, a you know, like a 15 or 20 pound plus rainbow trout or a big lake trout, right? Yeah, that's, that's very much a possibility. Very cool. Well, I'll tell you what, this is the biggest ice fishing tournament I've ever been to and uh, it's going to be exciting to see what all of the folks catch out there. People are catching some real nice fish here. Uh, 15 pound rainbow came out this week. So, why set up anywhere else? This is where they are. Look at his foot. Arbitrary. What's cool about the camera is that you can see your presentation and you can see the reaction of the fish. So if something's not working, right, and they're not they're not attracted to it for whatever reason, then you can keep trying something different. You can see a couple way off in the horizon. It's that way, they're actually swimming closer to shore. Pleased to meet you. What's with this slot? Who calls for the slot? My high heels aren't working. How are you? Hi, Neil. Hey, Neil, how you doing? How are you? Good. You? Hey, if I complain, nobody's gonna listen. Uh, no so one listen good, anyway. Man. Any fish yet? I have seen them. No? Yeah, oh, you're, see seeing them? you're seeing them come right through. Oh, good. Some big ones, actually. Oh, he's a tank. Look, he's a tank. Hey, over this way. Here. Oh, it's a nice one. He's fighting. He's fighting for a bit. 
Okay, you got peanut gallery, you got peer pressure here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't lose it, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, <laughs> watch me sink up to my neck in a little second. All right. Good one? Oh, yeah. All righty. Oh, 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 look at that, Lauren. That's awesome. <laughs> Williams? With look at bait. that. Was any bait on the Williams? Just plain, eh? Yeah. And were you? Jigging? What a gorgeous fish! Beautiful, yeah. thick, deep fish, eh? Wow. Let's picture of that. They're actually up <laughs> Nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, what a beaut. That's typical. That's typical. Yep. Hey. Tighter, That's a great tighter. fish. This segment was brought to you by the Wequemacong Anglers Club. This segment is sponsored by Explore Manitoulin and Indigenous Tourism Ontario. Luke does a lot of chartering out here through Wasagizik Tours. We come out here and, and do that in the spring. This is a real hot spot for people to come and fish. Um, you not only have escapees, but you also have, um, you know, the the regular natural uh, rainbow. And some of these rainbow, like we said this week, are uh, upwards of 10 pounds. Whoa, boys and girls. I'm hooked up here. Uh, we just, you know, set up this morning and uh, I'll tell you what, this rainbow is thumping. It's gotta be a rainbow. I mean, that's what we're fishing for this morning. It's early. We still got some pretty good low light. It's like seven in the morning. You know, there's some big, big rainbow trout up here around Manitoulin Island. We're fishing the big waters here. I've got a little Johnson shutter spoon on and uh, put on a little gold one. And this thing is thumping away. And come on in, shut the door. Watch the line. Did you get Luke set up <laughs> got, over there? Yeah, I helped him with this one. And you got one on while I was gone, eh? Yeah, I had it on here for, for a bit here. Oh, I see some bubbles. These rainbows bite, well, most trout species, uh, particularly these fats and rainbows bite early in the morning. So what's this big bay we're in here, right? It's Manitowanin and we're near Wikwemakon, this big peninsula. And uh, Oh yeah, you gonna get, you gonna reach? This looks like yeah. a good one. Be like a bear, Wayne, wrestle them out of there. Oh yeah. Nice. Look at this, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at, Look at the thing. beautiful rainbow color on that. Thing. Wow. This is what they're talking about. Look at that thing is heavy. Wow. What is, what there's is that? there's the little six. The what? little shutter spoon, little gold shutter spoon right there. Well, and right in the top, eh? Look at that. Look at that. Some of these folks fishing the Derby are going to be looking for this weekend are some of these. Fat rainbow trout, aren't they fat? Unbelievable, look at the profile on that thing. They're gonna show us some culinary stuff up some here. Uh, uh, treat us to some trout, so maybe yeah, we'll, we'll keep this keep one. Keep the one, that's right. Let's keep this one and yeah. that'll be the... All right, well, we'll get a few photos and ice this puppy down and uh, what can I say? Life is good up here on Manitoulin Island. Hey, Bob, we had a couple of great days on uh, Manitowaning Bay and on Lake Manitou. Now we get to uh, taste the fruits of our labors here at Rainbow Ridge Golf Course. John Dubay has a great recipe in store for us on the Wild Game Kitchen. And I like my ice fishing, but we're here where we can't play like 18 holes at the golf course. You know what? I always come in about the sixth hole here. I just give up and I'm just going to hit the... I hit the, the restaurant and that's it for me. Well, the other day I was down south and I will tell you, I did shoot my age playing golf. Oh. Well, no, but I'm not sure if I could only do that on the back nine. I think it would have been a yeah, great round. Yeah, nine or 18. <laughs> anyway, you know what? Let's get in there and taste some of All John right. Dubé's rainbow trout. Sounds good. One of the menus that I just want to demonstrate for you guys today is uh, our maple cedar plank rainbow trout. So when you, when you get your uh, cedar plank, you want to soak it. Um, at least one hour before you uh, prepare your meal because it is going to be going in, a, in the heat and could possibly burn as well. With my cedar planks, I season it with a little bit of olive oil. You're going to kind of smear that in as if you're doing like a, a rub on a piece of meat. Salt, a little bit of cracked pepper, garlic, a few different things. So I do have a little bit of mixture there. Again, you want to be generous with it. And what this is going to do, it's going to transfer a lot of the flavor with the, with the smoke from the cedar. Fish goes really good with any type of citrus fruit. 
when we look at citrus fruit, we can use that limes, lemons, oranges. So I'm just gonna use a nice generous amount of citrus, just a variety of it. Filet of rainbow trout that we got today. So we'll have that and all we're gonna do is place that right on the plank, like so, right on top of the fruit. Um, on top, what I like to usually do is a little bit of a barbecue uh, smoke seasoning. So I just use a little bit of that, sprinkle on top. Um, rainbow trout, very similar, similar to uh, you know things like such as salmon and whatnot too. So there's already a lot of fat in there, so you don't really have to add any additional fat to it. So some of the vegetables too, you can put whatever you want on there. Sometimes I put peppers, sometimes I put carrots, tomatoes. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of onion on it for for today. It's gonna give you a nice finished uh, onion product as well, like similar to being sautéed, but it's gonna help you judge when the fish is done too. So see a little bit of char charness on the, the onion. A little bit on the fruit as well. You'll you'll get a good indicator that the fish is done. Once you put place the uh, the rainbow trout onto the fruit, uh, we do add some of our maple syrup. Maple syrup is one of our staple indigenous foods that we have on the island. Uh, we've been harvesting this for hundreds and hundreds of years. We actually use it for bartering and trading. So I'm just going to generously pour some on there. Just to top it off, I'll throw a couple other vegetables in there, like uh, as I mentioned before. Just kind of throw it on there. You want to do a little decoration, do a little decoration on there as well, fancy it up a bit. So just a couple pieces of fruit on top. And one of the best uh, herbs I like to use it for a fish as well I mean, is uh, dill. So I got some fresh dill here that I'll just spread on there as well, just kind of give it a nice finished look. And once we're done that, we have a finished product that's going to go into the oven. So you can either put this in an oven at about 350 degrees or you can use a barbecue um, in the summertime if you want to barbecue. Uh, how you barbecue is when you keep it on the grill, make sure you're watching for burning around the, on the board. You keep the barbecue covered and try to maintain the temperature below 350. This is gonna go into the oven and we're gonna give us a little, a little sample as soon as it's ready, ready to eat. And this, guys, is the finished product of our maple cedar plank rainbow trout. Hope you guys enjoy. Fantastic. All right, just pulling into our rendezvous point. Pretty excited to be going for lake trout on Manitoulin Island. All right, looks like we got a beautiful morning here. It's about uh, minus two. We're going out on Lake Manitou. These guys are just unloading their sled here, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. graph here and uh, yeah. you know you see the that's, street that's going cool. up yeah so yeah, like pretty high impressive. in the water column and let me just reel up here I guess I've got to if you get them up to the hole I, I've got to dip in and get my hand wet I got them 20 feet there 20 feet come on all baby. right I love it seeing them coming up on the graph and that's the fish Wayne is fighting coming up on the graph hey life is good oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. What do you got them up near the surface? No, no, right? no, it's still at 15 feet there, Bob. 15? 15. Okay. Because Lorenzo is telling me the truth. Let's see. Manitou is going to be a popular spot, you know, for the Laker uh, uh, folks fishing Ooh. the uh, ice showdown. I know there'll be a lot of people out here. Yes, I can see the head. Okay. Yeah, nice lake trout. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice. All righty. So this is uh, another target species at the Manitoulin and Ice Showdown. Wow. Lake trout. I checked the uh, weights from last year, 2019, and I will say that uh, that Wayne, um, you wouldn't, uh, you you might win first fish, but you're not going to win biggest fish with this lake. Ready? There we go. Now, Bob, you are always complaining about my innovative rigs, but there's a. A classic different one. This is a Berkeley snap jig, so it's an airplane type of jig goes around. I put a, a, there's a little bit of a stinger on there and I put a gulp uh, a worm on there, a little paddle tail. Well, there's a little remnant of some rainbow row there too. So what do you think of that buffet rig? 
Uh, I'm not going to comment because, you know, we are shooting the show, but it's something I wouldn't use, but I'm not going to argue with success, okay? Yeah. Different. Different. He's a nice fish, buddy. You like good one, Matt? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was suspended? Yeah, I was at about 30 feet over 66. I was on bottom. I reeled up to him, and he started chasing it. So we just got set up here on Lake Manitou. It's day two of the Manitoula Nice Showdown, and uh, I'm kind of bundled up, but it's actually a nice morning. Either it's a small fish with a big attitude or a big fish with a big attitude. We're not sure yet. Let's see what happens. This is uh, this is exciting. Yes, yeah, very exciting. Feel heavier than anything you caught yeah, yesterday, Yeah, definitely, Matt? yeah. That's How many thing. fish did you catch yesterday? Uh, about 13, 14 fish. All lake trout? All lake trout, So yeah. 13 or 14 fish, all lakers yesterday, which is a lot of fish. About 10 inches, not a lot of ice this winter. It's been such a mild winter. Here we go. Oh, nice yes. one. White tube jig. White tube, classic, yeah. All righty. Now, the closest weigh-in station is how many miles away, or kilometers? About five miles. About five, five miles yeah. away. Yeah. So that fish there is definitely a good one to weigh in. We're yeah. What do you think it is? Let's have a guess. We can actually weigh it. We'll get to tell you right now. Yeah, yeah you want to get a quick weight? So, yeah. <laughs> What's it saying, uh, Mr. Bacon? 8.81. 8.81. <laughs> let's, let's make sure it doesn't lose any weight. Uh, yeah. They're going to get it back to the weigh yeah. station. That's what we're talking about. That was caught 10 minutes ago, right out here in the middle of Lake Manitou. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV was sponsored by Northeastern Ontario Tourism. This segment was brought to you by the Manitou and Hotel and Conference Center. All righty, look at the size of this one. How big? 12, 12.86. Very good, congratulations, yeah, and you. I hope you do well in yeah. the, uh, the tournament. There's still a couple of hours to go today and then tomorrow Sunday, so it's a two-day tournament, so we'll see how this giant, just under 13 pounds, holds up. We're here with Mark, he just, we came over because we heard the first tag fish was caught somewhere near here. Was that you guys? That was me, yep. This guy got it here and it's Greg? Yep. And then uh, Mark, as we're walking over, and I think we maybe scared all these fish over to I you. Think so. And he picked up another rainbow trout. <laughs> and there you have it right there. A classic rainbow trout for Manitowning Bay. Fantastic job, you got 1,200 and 50 bucks is it? Yeah, $2,500 total. 2500 bucks for this tag and fish. And because we're fishing as a team, we're splitting it. Now. Nice job. That's teamwork folks here at the Manitoulin Ice Showdown. I love coming here. And you know the spread is, is so different than years past because uh, of the multiple points of entry and, and uh, sign in. People are catching fish right off the bat. 8.02 people started catching fish. That was the first fish. But because it's so spread out, I think we're gonna see you know a record number of fish come in from Manitowoning Bay. Four hours on Sunday to get this tagged fish. Just like that. All right, Diane and I are in the shack here. Uh, the little otter pop-up. And these fish are coming right into the the flats here. Oh, we can see them coming in. There's a couple coming in right now. They're just not quite committing to that bait. All right, Derek's got one on the sh in the shack here. Hang on. Easy, easy. Don't worry about horsing them. He's not that far. I just want to let him be able to take it a bit. Come on, let it have a tag. He's decent size. I saw, oh, oh, he's taking it hard. As soon <laughs> as he came to the hole. Oh, there he is there. Oh, he doesn't like being up high. Oh, he's right there. Oh, oh yeah, I can see him swimming by the hole. That's <laughs> awesome. Here we go. Right there, right there, right there. Oh. Yeah! Come on, have a tag, have a tag. No tag. No tag, but a nice rainbow. Oh, just on the stinger too. That's a cool rainbow. Awesome, awesome. Nice fish, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Time for slime at the Manitoulin Ice Showdown. Finally. 
First off, I want to thank Luke for running a phenomenal tournament. This thing is amazing. I will say that this place is one incredible fishery. We got to experience three days of great fishing and then watched you folks uh, get a lot of fish the last two days, both on the bay and the lake. And I will say this place kicks out some big, big fish and so many nice people live here on the island and the surrounding areas that have come for this uh, tournament. Uh, on that note, this guy here, Neil from Fuel the Fire, man, he's hardcore. The other day it's cold, like it's not warm like it was the last two days. And, okay, you know you're hardcore when you're, you know, you got maybe a hoodie on over what he's wearing now and you're out there fishing outside and you're not even in the hot, but we're in the snow there, you know, in our t-shirts and 70 degree uh, temperatures looking out, looking at him going, boy, they're tough up here at Manitoula. And at one point, one of his cameramen was laying on the ice sleeping. I go, holy cow, he killed his cameraman. I just want to say it is privilege to be here and an honor to meet all you folks uh, and thank you so much for supporting this wonderful event. I also wanted to take a second just to, uh, to thank the Wiki Tourism and Indigenous Tourism Ontario for putting this all together. They work incredibly hard to try and link it all just to give us the opportunity to, to, uh, to catch fish. Uh, lastly, I want to thank the Real Fishing Program, uh, Bob and his crew, his brother Wayne and Sandy. Um, it's just fantastic. It's such a steep learning curve for a new program and for us to be lucky enough to be in the presence of greatness, it's truly a humbling experience and I just, it's been a dream come true for me. So uh, let's give a big round of applause.